Hey guys, just wanted to share this very quick story with you. Working on Voyager today, I was doing a ride and my motor on the way home began making a very uh, a consistent rotary knocking slash grinding sound which sounded something like this. And as I kept going to full speed, which I took it there once, it continued. So I discontinued the ride immediately, which I recommend for anybody do. And here's the reason why that's important. I thought two things originally. Hypothesis one, the rivets on the outside of the motor, let me get some better light over here. I thought these little pins were coming loose. One, two, three, and then four down on this backside. And if those came loose, I would imagine that this housing here would come loose and the bearings would be loose. And I thought that's what was making the rattling sound back and forth between here. The second thing I thought was that some of the, the teeth were breaking off of the gears. And the third thing was the worst thing, the unknown. The one thing that would cause me to buy a brand new motor, which would run me, set me back about 500 bucks, plus a wheel. So, I decided to come inside and take a look at what I found. Little it's and bitty pieces of teeth from one of the three, or maybe two of two of the three planetary gears caught in the center gear, causing a major, major balance problem. So every time a, ge a gear would knock over this, it would create distance, pushing the gear back, creating vibration, and creating that knocking sound. One, two, three, and four, five, and six are somewhere 10 miles behind me. Or they threw them out of anger. Anyway, so looking around the planetary gears, I found two teeth that were already in the process of chipping away. So I went ahead and broke them off. Now missing a couple of teeth on each planetary gear is not going to be a problem. But also adding to the fact that I am a bit overweight this summer, um, I am just a few pounds shy of the maximum weight capacity of this bike still I have an additional 90 pounds of stress on this motor that means one two and planetary gear number three plus the center gear all is pulling 100% of that weight so yeah that's kind of my fault and that's an expected wear and tear so here's a section where the tooth the tooth had broken off and got lodged up in the center here yeah, fork in the engine, if how that saying goes, or yeah, however that saying goes. But anyway, sorry there about Fang, not trying to take any business away from you, but just trying to get the most use out of this motor. So now with this issue gone, which outside of myself, I would have thought it'd be catastrophic, is a very simple fix. Remove bits and pieces of broken teeth from inside planetary gear system that's creating friction and jump during each revolution and that'll take away the rattling, the knocking and the bumping sounds and the straining draining sounds that you hear at higher speeds from the motor. It's all due to these little chips and pieces here. Now, the last time, I'll wrap up by saying the last time I did check for these were six months ago. And I've gotten about maybe 2,000 miles of riding done since. So I know that my, my the constant tugging of the weight I have on the back of the bike is causing a tooth to break maybe once every couple of months. They go. But I have some grease here. I'm going to add that to it because this is looking a a bit dry and I'm going to reallocate some of this grease onto the sides back to the center of the gear and that's it um, when I put it back together I should have full functionality again yep there you go there's some grease chewing that